Salvation is my best gift ever You're the tree of life I was lost, now I am found Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again Jeremy Mihibo here Today, we are going to talk about 2024 The year 2024, not 2022. You may wonder why I'm not talking about 2022, but instead I'm going to talk about 2024. Well, we have just started the year 2022 a few days ago, four days ago now. Now, why am I talking about the year 2024? Let's see. The year 2024 is going to be the turning point of whatever happening now, all the things you are seeing happening right now in the world, the time point is going to be the year 2024. Watch out. United States of America, US. The US is the center of everything. All eyes are on USA, America. Why? This is the fall of an empire and somehow everything that is happening right now is connected and linked with the United States of America. I'll show you how if I want to go into deep details but right now let me just give you a few points. Well, we know the US is the empire of today, the superpower so to speak, as it's called in other words but what's happening is to measure how much the empire can be saved saved from what from free fall so what's happening is like put everybody on board to sustain the power therefore avoid the fall of the empire but again anything that's happening right now is going to be the best outcome for the people of the world to live in peace and harmony. Let's see. You may see what's happening around the world, let's say in Africa, Australia, Europe, or across the world. Lockdowns, fightings, people go to street and demonstrate, but not in the US. Ask yourself why? Because the force behind all of this understood that in the US, unlike in other countries, everybody has a gun. Therefore, it will be very, very difficult to control people with guns. This would cause a civil war that will be fair, so to speak, fair. Why? Because everybody will have a gun. It's not like it happened in Rwanda, where I come from. Where one part had guns, the other part did not have guns. The devil, or the force behind all this happening, understood this. Which means that war or civil war is not and should not be the first option. Therefore, what's going on should pave the way to the war or the last ocean. Last ocean is going to be the war. And of course, if you can manage to get everybody on board willingly or by force or by any means to get the majority on board, then it will be okay, but not over. Because once people will wake up or once all these things are going to come back to the US, that's when the chaos will start. The year 2024. Why the year 2024? We know in the US itself there is elections. And I guarantee you, Joe Biden can never, will not become the next president of the US, cannot win the second term. Then what's gonna happen? What will happen is chaos. Because even though if you analyze or look back a little bit, and see how he won 
that was almost very close. Just a hint, Trump played a big role in preventing that from happening. The exit, how he leaves power and gave to Biden, that was a plan. Those who see can see, but those who do not see cannot see it. So now, the question is, can Biden be reacted again? No. So what can happen? Wait and see. It's going to be a total chaos because now the country is being divided slowly and surely. When it comes to 2024, in two, three years, the division that is like this now is going to be like this. What does it mean? Chaos, civil war, and so forth. Keep an eye on America. U.S. is the center of everything happening now, and the truth is going to come out soon. Anything that's happening all across the globe is because of the U.S.A. The empire is about to fall, but the empire cannot fall easily. Right. Europe. Europe with the European Union. The Europeans, they know and understand very well what's happening. That's why you see many people in Europe against what's happening. They're against. Look in Holland. Look in Scandinavia. All across Europe, they understand they have to fight for their rights because of what they call democracy. That's what's in their heads. And of course, they cannot afford to lose the so, their so-called democracy. This democracy is going to cause resistance and build Europe and come back with full power. This is going to be demonstrated by European Union or Europe being opposed to US. This is going to cause what US will not be able to stop. Africa. African Union. What Africa is doing right now. So we know that in many, many countries across Africa, they will have elections around 2024. What does it mean? That means the youth is going to take over, is going to wake up from the sleep and say, enough is enough. This is our time. This is the time for Africa. So where in the US there's going to be chaos all across the world, Africa is not going to be left behind because what's happening right now has been eye-opening for Africa as well. Now, all Africans, most of Africans, they understand that, look, we can do better. We can overcome. We need a better life. This is going to cause Africa to rise and fly and shine. God willing, it's going to happen. And this is all what is about. The fall of an empire, the rise of another empire, Africa. It's coming, it's coming to pass. Very good. The war or peace, one leader. Right. Remember, I said that war is not the first option. The first option is trying to get everybody comply, put everybody on board. But this is going to fail. And once it fails, of course, the empire will fall. The empire can never, never fall without, without a fight. There are going to be war, and the war is going to be the empire to be right now and those countries who are trying to measure their strength against the empire. This shall come to pass, and of course, the year 2024 is going to be the turning point and where the pure truth about what's happening right now will be revealed and come to light. Of course, after the war, there's the peace. If you want peace, you prepare the war. This is when the one leader that is being talked about, the Antichrist, will come on the scene and say, I bring peace.
I am the Messiah. And be careful, you are warned, it's not going to be the Messiah. Because we know when and how the true Messiah, Yeshua Messiah, the Christ, is going to come. Is not going to be a leader of the world, but is going to be sent from heaven. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Salvation is my best gift ever. You're the tree of life. I was lost, now I am found.